Bakhmut has seen the fiercest battle for territorial control in months now, and the Pentagon indicated that since December, Russia has suffered around 200,000 casualties by some estimates and continues to lose dozens of casualties each day in the city of Bakhmut. Russia has been besieging Bakhmut in the Donetsk region since last summer and has yet to take the town. The fighting at Bakhmut remained fierce, with the Russian shelling increasing and their artillery apparently well-stocked on the town. Ukrainian troops will continue to engage Russian troops in Bakhmut, but to change momentum, the Ukrainian side needs more long-range artillery in the area. Video footage shows Ukrainian defense forces destroying a BM-21 Grad rocket launcher system, Tigger armored car and crew, two Kamez trucks, an anti-tank missile system, and Russian invaders. Troops from the Special Operations Center A of the Ukrainian Security Service stand out. Kamikaze FPV drones, despite their small size, can carry quite a lot of explosives. And ordinary UAV operators help them with the search for targets. The press service of the Security Service of Ukraine announced this on its Facebook page, publishing a related video edited from footage captured by an ammunition barrage and the control of an unmanned aerial vehicle. Ukraine has released what it says is helmet camera footage showing troops in Bakhmut clearing Russian positions. The battle for Bakhmut is the bloodiest and longest since the Russian invasion began on February 24, 2022. For its part, Ukraine claims it wants to exhaust the Russian army by pulling as much of its stretched and depleted resources as possible into this area of the Donbass before launching a counteroffensive to retake the occupied territories in the east and south of the country. Another video shows fighters from the 55th Separate Artillery Brigade, Zaporizhka Syk, of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, destroying a tank, a headquarters with manpower and eight units of Russian invaders' military equipment. Video recorded by an unmanned aerial vehicle, whose operator finds a target and adjusts artillery fire, edited from two episodes. In the first, the scouts found a pretty good house where the raiders set up their base classical artillery shelling was applied to it. The second episode shows a direct hit on an enemy tank from the first shot. It seems that the high-precision American 155mm Excalibur projectile was used here. Ukrainian troops have regained at least one kilometer of ground in Bakhmut amid a Russian withdrawal that reflects Russia's severe shortage of credible combat units the UK Ministry of Defense said in its latest intelligence briefing. It said elements of the Russian brigade were retreating in bad order from their positions on the south side of the eastern Ukrainian city, where fighting was the longest of the war. The brigade had been killed on charges of poor morale and limited combat effectiveness. On the other hand, there has been an increase in fighting along the border between the Kharkiv and Luhansk regions in eastern Ukraine according to Russian and Ukrainian officials. The Ukrainian general staff said Russian artillery and mortar fire hit settlements in the Kupiansk sector, namely in Kharkiv. <laughs> the Russian Defense Ministry said that in the same area ground troops backed by air power hit two Ukrainian units. The ministry said artillery fire had prevented Ukrainian troops from rotating in the same area. An unofficial Russian social media account also said Ukrainian attacks had increased along the eastern Kupians front, but were making no headway. To the south, Ukraine reported artillery and other attacks by Russian troops in the Zaporizhia region, where Russian forces maintained gains made in the first few days of the invasion. The Ukrainian army has honed their skills to shoot down Iranian-made drones with machine guns. Russian troops have used drones to launch attacks across Ukraine, including housing and civilian infrastructure. The Ukrainian military says it managed to shoot down the drone, even as Russia continued to change tactics. 
Meanwhile, more than a year after Russia's unprovoked invasion of Ukraine and amid a historic crackdown on dissent, a handful of Russians continue to risk their lives and freedoms in a quixotic attempt to convince their country to change course. The General Staff of the Ukrainian Armed Forces reported on May 14 that Russia had lost 198,880 troops in Ukraine since the start of its full-scale invasion on February 24 last year. This number includes the 620 casualties suffered by Russian forces over the past few days. Russia's defense ministry said Ukrainian forces carried out an offensive operation along the contact line near Solidar the ministry's official Zvezda News Agency reported. More than 1,000 troops and up to 40 tanks were used in Thursday's attack, he said on Friday, adding that the attack was returned. Meanwhile, Russian troops fired 90 times into Kherson Oblast over the past day, launching 434 shells from heavy artillery, grad multiple rocket launchers, tanks, grenade launchers, drones and aviation, Oblast Governor Oleksandr Prokudin reported. Russian forces shelled the Oblast's residential areas, educational institutions and important infrastructure facilities in the Berislav district. A local telegram channel reported an explosion in Kherson overnight on May 14 amid warnings of a massive airstrike. Ukrainian troops also intercepted 14 drones of various types over the past few days. The general staff of the Ukrainian Armed Forces reported in its morning briefing on May 14. According to the general staff, the Ukrainian army shot down three Orlan 10 drones, two Zala drones, four Lancet drones, and five drones of an unspecified type. The Ukrainian Air Force carried out 10 attacks on concentrations of Russian troops and equipment and four attacks on positions of Russian anti-aircraft missile systems. Over the past 24 hours, Russia launched four missiles, 79 airstrikes and 99 MLRS strikes against Ukraine. Russian forces are concentrating their efforts on carrying out strikes against Lyman, Bakhmut, Avdiivka and Marinka in Donetsk Oblast, the general staff said. Ukrainian troops repulsed 57 Russian attacks in that direction over the past few days, according to the general staff. 